Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Miss Donna Victoria. And welcome back to our channel. We're finally into autumn or fall. It's one Yay. of our favorite seasons. I know, it really is. And when you think of fall, we think of roasted vegetables and all that yumminess that goes with it. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do today, Victoria? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Roasted pumpkin. Yeah, Yum. you get that. You're going to use that one? Yeah. This is oh, all good I just garden. picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's cute. Isn't he? He's a huge. Two different kinds of pumpkin. Yes, yeah. green pumpkin. I know. It's delicious. It's so good. Well, but today, we'll let's use this one. All right. <laughs> Next time, we'll use mine. <laughs> so today, we're going to do a beautiful roasted pumpkin dish for you. So yeah. You, let's show them how it's done. Let's do it. Okay. So we're going to start by peeling and dicing the pumpkin here. We're going to do it in larger chunks, probably about one to two inches in diameter, whatever you like. And make sure they're all roughly about the same size here. We're just gonna chop those and put them right into the pan. So we have the pumpkin all chopped up, so now we're gonna start seasoning it. You can see we did it in about, you know, a generous inch size chunk here. So we have a half a cup of cranberries, because I think everything, you know, goes better with cranberries. Yum. Then, mm. hmm? I agree. I know, right? So now we're going to be adding the cinnamon. I know it doesn't look like it says cinnamon, but this is a little bit of cinnamon here. We're going to be tossing this all here with a little bit of olive oil, too. And with those seasonings, how can you go wrong, right? I know, right? Okay. Little allspice. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of olive oil. Give it a quick toss and see if we need any more olive oil. You don't need too much, just enough to give it a nice coating. Because we're actually going to be making a glaze for this. Yum! Ooh, what kind of glaze is going to go in this one? You'll have to see. Oh. It's a surprise. Yummy. All right, let me lay all this back out nice and smooth. Then we'll put it in the oven. Now for the secret sauce. So we're going to use two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna put our cranberry juice in there. Yum. It's already sounding good. Right. And then we're gonna put our three tablespoons of brown sugar in. some cinnamon. Like that. Get off the rim. And then we're going to stir and just meld these together. And once it melts together, then we can put it on the simmer so we can reduce it a little bit to make a nice glaze because we're going to be pouring this on uh, the pumpkin once it's finished. Okay, so now that it's simmered a little bit, we can see that it's reducing it. And boy, I have got to tell you, this smells so good. Yeah, it does. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and just set it aside. And then afterwards, we're going to, like I said, we're going to pour it over the pumpkin. Yum. So it's finally finished, the roasted pumpkin. And look at that, Victoria. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> it smells so good, too. Mm -hmm. It almost smells like a dessert. Yeah. Even though it's not. But it's definitely like a sweet and savory side dish that you can have with any of your fall meals. Yeah, be good. I think everyone's family would love this. And I love the fact too that nowadays we're doing more with fresh pumpkin. When I was a kid, we didn't. It was just, um, it wasn't a thing in the United States to use a lot of fresh pumpkin. I guess if you didn't like pumpkin, you could do this with sweet potato. If for some reason you didn't like pumpkin, right? True, or even a butternut squash. True, yeah. Yum. 
Uh, pumpkins more than for decoration, that's for sure. That is true. Let's get all those beautiful cranberries on there. Awesome. Okay, so. Now for the star ingredient here, our secret weapon, the glaze. You know, it already smells good, and now we have that glaze going on top I of know. it. I didn't think it could make it any better, but I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah. And then once you put that on, we'll just put some parsley on top. Yummy. All right, you want to do the honors? Sure. Because, you know, parsley goes with anything. And then it also just looks really nice for presentation when you're going to serve it to your friends and family. All right. So we finally finished this beautiful side dish and I have to say, I think it came out really well. I think so, but you know how we'll really know? <laughs> Let's test it. Our favorite part. I know. Okay. I need to get some glaze, a cranberry. I don't know how you do it. I try to get it and I can't get everything. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, ooh. I got a cranberry. Uh -huh. Good job. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend this for a side dish. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> or even our vegetarian friends would love this. That's itself. very true. It's really good. Yeah. It hits all the spots. It does. Sweet, it's sweet. savory. Yep. It's perfect. Good. Exactly. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And we're going to enjoy this right now. And yes, we'll we say are. ciao for now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Ha, ha, ha.